Yes guys, another video from me, another player profile, and another goalkeeper. Church Manager 0102, another legend. Now, I've really ridden him out this morning, um, and I, I've stayed with the same sort of um, area, as you'll see, sort of like over-the-hill goalkeepers. So today's goalkeeper, you can see in front of you there, uh, the legendary, the great Peter Schmeichel. Now, I was never a Man United fan growing up. Um, far from it, I fucking hated Alex Ferguson I rate Ferguson, I rated him as a manager Amazing, but I didn't like him The chewing gum and all that shit But Schmeichel was a massive fan of Because I didn't like Man United But you can't argue what a great goalkeeper Schmeichel was Schmeichel in real life um, You know, he was that presence, weren't he? I mean, he was just that, that presence of being in, in the Man United uh in the lineup, he, he was absolutely brilliant, and uh, he went to Man United in '91 and finished in '99. I, I'm actually was really surprised that he left in 1999 because, in all honesty, that was uh, that's just go back a minute. That was the year that they won the triple. So I don't know. It's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit shit, really. I mean, I think he deserved. I mean, unless there was more more to it, I don't. I don't really 100 know. The problem about uh, Schmeichel, right, is there's one memory I've got of Schmeichel, and it's not a positive one. He won't appreciate this. Um, and I can't remember what year this was, but do we all remember when um, when Man United were beaten 6-3 by Southampton? I think that was when they had the uh, the kit problem. Uh, they changed their kits. But it, weren't, it was the following week, or the previous week, they got hammered by uh, Newcastle 5-0. And uh, the one thing I remember, and it sticks out like a sore fucking thumb, right, is Philip Albert chipping Schmeichel for the fifth goal. And because Schmeichel, I always thought he was quite an inspiration. Like, he real commands his defence. You know, he, he's vocal, which is what you need in a goalkeeper. But I remember watching this goal, yeah, and Albert, I used to love Philip Albert. And Albert just gives this little dinky chip, and Schmeichel was just fucking speechless. He was absolutely fucking speechless. And it was like, get in there, you know, good old Albert. Um, and, and I remember it so well. But um, the, the bottom line is, Schmeichel was, uh, I mean, David Seaman was known as safe hands, and Schmeichel, I would say, I mean, Man United have never really, they took a long time to replace Schmeichel, in my opinion. You know, it isn't really until, I mean, Van der Sar maybe was the next best replacement, uh, and probably David De Gea of the modern day, but uh, but Schmeichel was very difficult to, to, to really replace. Um, of course, in terms of uh, Pitch Michael, he started out in '81 in um, in Denmark, um, and I think the biggest team that oh, I don't really know much about Danish football, but Bromby, and of course Bromby up until '91, so ten years after he'd already become a professional, after over two hundred games, he got his Man United move, and it, it was thoroughly deserved. It, let, let's be honest. Uh, so, like I said, I was a bit surprised for him to get a move out of Man United, but there might have been more to it, and again, going back to Alex Ferguson, you never fucking know, do you? I mean, it doesn't matter how good somebody was, look at Keane, look at Sam, look at Beckham, uh, look at them all, you know, Ferguson was, I don't know, maybe you could admire him for that. Um, of course, he went to Aston Villa, um, as you can see right here, I mean, he started at Aston Villa in this game. Um, and he's uh, more about this uh, the CN game in a minute. And then, of course, you may recall the following year he um, he moved to Manchester City, and that was pretty much his last club. But in total, I think it's close to 650 games in total of uh, you know when he was uh, a rookie to when he was uh, over the hill. And this was a the bizarre thing. Yeah, you know what I'm going to say about this now. Um, he scored nine goals. I wrote down nine goals. Uh, which I didn't realise. I thought it was only one or two, and I got my my I got this totally wrong because I thought he scored a goal for Man United. I don't know where I got that from, but according to what I wrote down, he didn't. He got one goal for Aston Villa, uh, two goals for Bromby, and six goals for. Um, and apologies if I pronounce this incorrectly, which I probably will. Um, Hivi Dovra of uh, Denmark. So I don't know. And I believe he also got a goal for um, for Denmark. So 10, 10 in total. 129 caps for Denmark, spanning from 1987 to 2001. I didn't even realise he started his international career so early. Of course, take into account with Schmeichel, uh, his son, Kasper Schmeichel. 
I would like to have seen Kasper Schmeichel end up at a better team than Leicester. Apo apologies, Stu Murphy, but I hate Leicester. Uh, I really hate Leicester with an absolute passion for what they did to Ranieri. So, fuck them. Um, and I would like to have seen Kasper Schmeichel end up at a better team. Uh, yes, I know, they won the title. Fuck off, is what I say. And fuck Brendan Rodgers. Um, so in terms of uh, CM, a bit like the David Seaman thing, really. I don't even know where Schmeichel ends up. And even on my long-term ODB games, I never even think about checking these sort of players' is regen. But just like Seaman, he's got some fucking great figures. Um, let's just see what contract he's got. So he's on a one-year deal. So, you know, he's got handling, influence, jumping, passing, positioning, reflexes, um, decisions, determination, aggression, agility, strength, tackling, big matches, adaptability. Um, it absolute, he's an absolute monster, really. I mean, strength 20 and stamina 16 for a 37-year-old. It is pretty good. Do you know what, right? I'm saying to you, you got a goal for fucking Denmark. It says it right there, don't it? What a fucking twat. It says it right there, you got a goal for Denmark. I didn't even know that. I remember reading... See, I remember him uh, coming up for a, a thing. I could have sworn it was Man United. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I thought... I, I vaguely remember him coming up and scoring what I think was an equaliser. But I thought it was Man United. I honestly did, but... Well, clearly I'm fucking wrong. Either that or um, my fucking research is wrong, which could be the case. So, um, but yeah, he really has got some fucking amazing figures. Um, so he is already retired from international duty. I don't know, uh, what did I say he retired? So he retired in 01. So yeah, he retired in 01. So um, he retired at the age of 37. So probably retired after Euro 2000, I would imagine. I've wrote down 01, but I'd, I'm not 100% sure. But, um, you know, you know, it, it was Man United, really. I mean, he, he was a captain of Man United. And this is what I think is really bizarre. He was a captain of Man United um, in that Champions League final. I don't think he was a regular captain, was he? Um, so, I don't, I don't grasp. Now, unless... Uh, he was out of contract and it was already pre. Well, I don't know. We didn't really have pre-arranged deals back then, did we? The Bosmans weren't really a massive thing, were they? Um, I mean, he is regarded as one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time, and uh, you know, I'm inclined to agree with that. I'm absolutely inclined to agree. I'm just thinking now: was he part of the Denmark? Was he part of the Denmark? Um, let's just have a look, shall we? Denmark, so was he, I, I don't even know that, you know, was he part of Denmark's Euro 92, because he'd have been involved for five years, so, hmm, maybe, I'm not sure, if you know the answer to that, let me know, let me know, I'm intrigued to know that, um, now, I, see, I wrote something down, and, I don't. I think my resource was a bit shit because I don't know when it was updated from. Because um, it said he was playing for Nice, um, so I think I was reading a, a really old uh, web page. Uh, I think I was using a. Re he is an MBE as well. Let me remind you. Um, you know, and I think that's worth um, that's worth pointing out. So that is Peter Schmeichel. If you've got anything you want to add, anything I fucked up with, let me know. And until next time, from me, guys, take it easy.